Hello viewers, users, Alex you, Viri Guide. I'm so excited. Today, finally, I've got my Viri collection. This is the package that includes all the Viri for all the software, including Phoenix for Maya, 3ds Max, of course, Viri for SketchUp, Maya, Rhino, Nuke, Revit, Cinema 4D, you just name it. Unreal Engine also included in this package. Uh, it's got also Viri scans, but it's got some very special format that's called VR scene, VR scene, and that VR scene we can transfer between different scenes, and this is what we're gonna test today. So before we test it, I just wanna show you how this package looks like. If you type in in your browser, localhost 30304, you'll be able to get to this page, and here you'll be able to see all your available licenses. So if we go to our Viri collection, we can see that they actually made this Phoenix FD universal, so it can work on Max, Maya. I got a bunch of uh, render nodes here, API. And uh, if we go to Viri scans, we can see here that we have the material scanner. And also we got this new Chaos Vintage that got released. Um, this is the project Levina, which you probably got email yesterday from Chaos Group regarding this uh, real-time ray tracing. However, it only works on RTX graphic cards, so I don't have that yet. Okay, so if I go to my uh, download section on Chaos Group, you can see all the software available for me to test, to download, check it out, test it, and see if we can use V-Ray Scene in order to transfer those between the platforms. So the first test that I'm gonna do here is with my Kitbash uh, free package for sci-fi. If you guys remember, I did this uh, little test here with the fog. Why don't we just click render here and see how this stuff rendering. I'm gonna render only one frame. And uh, here I'm using brute force, brute force, because I rendered animation from this sequence so um, let's see how this works so while this scene is rendering and by the way it's rendering pretty fast here uh, we'll be able to get it i think around two minutes with a nice fog effect and nice volumetric uh, aerial perspective so all of this stuff is working pretty cool we also got some denoiser if we zoom in we can see a little bit of uh, grain here going on that the noiser is going to clean out so um, what I actually wanted to talk to you about is something that I found actually bumped into a quote on uh, Alien Planet is a series going on now on Netflix and they showing about survival on different alien planets with cool 3d characters and there was a very interesting quote it goes like this if you want to survive in the modern world, you'd rather be a generalist than a specialist. Okay, I'm going to repeat it again. If you want to survive in the modern world, you'd rather be generalist than a specialist. What does it mean? That means you got to wear a lot of hats. You got to do a lot of stuff. So, for instance, if there is a project coming in with V-Ray, but not 3ds Max, uh, SketchUp or Rhino or Unreal Engine, what are you going to do? You're going to say no or you're going to spend some time uh, learning the stuff, reading the manuals and you're going to take the project and actually do it. So from my personal observation, a lot of companies now rather have generalists. They can do animation, lighting and rendering than just one really good animator that can do only that. And uh, VR scene actually is the one that can provide that solution okay so look at that pretty cool the render is done and um, the denoiser cleaned all those little grains that were here before okay so the render came out pretty fast uh, under five minutes even though it's full HD quality it didn't took much to render and um, now what we can do is right click inside my scene I'm gonna do right click and I have this VR scene exporter here so I'm gonna run the export analysis I can analyze and after saving the path I already exported K 
kit bash and I also did loft test uh, you can save it and uh, let's just click save and export so you see it's exporting all the nodes and your scene now is uh, available for import to other different platforms now we have some export problems here we are seeing renders standalone with the preview buffer so let's go and import that inside unreal engine i actually did that it took some time because this is pretty big scene and um, this is how it looks like when you import that of course you need to activate your plugins in unreal engine and uh, if you click here on the render you'll be able to see how the bake the lighting bake will look like when the scene being rendered with v-ray we're talking about v-ray for unreal engine right and i actually was surprised because the scene got a lot of content inside and it's got a lot of different textures and multi matte elements and i thought it won't uh it won't transfer exactly as it is in 3ds max but i was very surprised to discover that it got pretty similar result except the fog <laughs> okay we do have pretty good uh realistic fog and volumetric aerial perspective per se inside unreal engine but um, we haven't used it in this scene we're just using the pure render and you can see it's uh, it's getting pretty pretty cool results here with this render okay so it's uh, gonna do real quick auto save but uh, the stuff is looking good you can see that it's updating pretty fast and cleaning up the noise right there uh, few seconds ago we had some uh, grain going on here so um, this stuff is looking good so if I move forward you can see I can move through my scene it will get pretty fast update okay so I'm gonna stop the rendering preview and uh, let's get out of my camera and just see how this actually looking inside Unreal so you can see the objects are not really placed I just composition and build this whole thing but it's not really um, a real environment that you can go and analyze and walk through because the buildings are placed only for the camera perspective not really for the game engine to play around with okay but again it's pretty cool result and I'm uh, very satisfied with what we actually got here okay now I also baked I did a really quick bake solution for this and if we go into the lit mode lighting only we can see that the lighting also not bad at all you know the maps were not adjusted again we're using very low quality everything is green and you know that in order to get good quality we gotta do the light map density here so you can see those all those green areas we gotta bump it up bring it to the orange so uh, we don't get the details but in general this is not looking bad at all if you need to do something in max export it to unreal this is a very quick way to do it okay now i'm gonna open maya and um, let's see what maya can do here with this import i actually tried to do it uh, just to save time with this and unfortunately it didn't go as i was expected i was pretty much expecting to get the same results as i got inside unreal engine just basically exporting and importing everything and getting the camera getting the look but somehow uh, in maya when you import that stuff it uh, it got some really weird imports really weird results so how do you import stuff like this into maya we have that's a message from uh, the v-ray that got installed okay so how do you import that you use uh, v-ray scene manager you can click import objects and go then select let's select our scene let's do this one that we just export it click import and if we do K 
cache all take some time but unfortunately it didn't bring this scene um, as it is in 3ds max i also did a test for sketchup i watched a couple of couple of video tutorials let's do sketchup while this maya thing being imported And in SketchUp, it's also pretty simple workflow. Uh, you have to have, of course, V-Ray installed. As you can see, my V-Ray here, all those panels are working fine. And if I want to bring it here, I'm just going to do import and select my scene so it took some time eventually didn't bring much so what i did is i tried to import my loft because loft is slightly uh, smaller scene and it's got less complicated geometry less complicated textures so i thought maybe this will work and get me the the results i'm looking for so so far this works perfect with Unreal Engine, with SketchUp or Maya. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, I, I mean, I, I watched the online uh, documentation for working with VR scene. If we do import this loft, which is slightly smaller, oh, I already brought it here. So we can see that's, that's how it brought my loft, okay. So the stuff is there. I don't know why it's flipped. Um, and uh, I don't know where the cameras are. There's supposed to be cameras also in this one. But yeah, I mean, so now we're here in SketchUp. I did a test with this. And look at that. We got our loft scene inside SketchUp. Isn't that good? Isn't that looking pretty cool? Okay, so the stuff is looking good. I just need to fix uh, my glass and everything, but you can see the results are pretty good. So it does work with smaller scenes and it provides pretty good and accurate result, you know. But uh, with bigger scenes, you probably have to work them a little bit more, maybe attach many objects together. Because if you have a lot of those little uh, separated individual objects, it might be a problem to bring them all together into this, uh, into this scene. So you can see some maps are still compiling and take some time to, uh, to, get it, to get it right. Okay, but so far the results are looking good and i'm um, pretty much satisfied with all of those components that i have here so in case i have someone that wants to have v-ray sketchup and i have a lot of my assets made in 3ds max i can use that v-ray scene in order to move between platforms and have my objects really universal between all of those 3d software applications okay so this is a cool thing now if you want to get this we have it right now on our website i know it's a little bit pricey 6.99 per year but you get with this package access to all our very school classes so you can go check it out it's a pretty cool very collection if you go to software here you can find our Vray collection in this particular button here. We've got it. So you'll be able to have all of this, all of those softwares you can see from 3ds Max Maya SketchUp all the way to New Unreal Revit. And um, the price is just incredible because it's half of what I charge for one image. So basically half of an image is paying for all of those 15 licenses per year okay so keep that in mind in the modern world if you want to survive you'd rather be 3d generalist 
than a 3D specialist. I thank you very much for watching this. Post your comments below. This is Alex, your VRA guy. Talk soon. Ciao.